was the talk of the First Lutheran Church. And we have been hoping for and longing for this news for so long. Jamie Kloss is home. And you can almost hear, bear, and breathe for the first time in months. You can hear Baron celebrate too. Jamie's schoolmate told the bell in her honor. The pastor decided to rewrite his sermon. He knows where their minds are. The sermon uh, is to say you got to preach with the Bible in one hand and paper in the other. And Jamie's return is certainly front page news. We're, we're excited, we're overjoyed, overwhelmed um, at this. This is great news. Uh, we've been praying that she was returned home alive and safe, um, and, uh, she, and that, that happened. And they have been praying for three straight months. Please for mercy are now words of thanks. I think it would be right to have a time of prayer for the Kloss family. We are so grateful and so thankful that our town's daughter has come home. First Baptist of Barron celebrated too. Jamie's old babysitter joined in praise. Obviously God directed it to happen and we all learned something from it. <laughs> About hope. You're right and there's hope for everybody. Wonderful and bountiful. I believe very definitely it's because people were praying. Pastor Robinson admits his hopes were starting to fade, but instead of letting go of faith, they held on to it. I believe it's a message to us here in Barron, our people all over. You can't overestimate the power of prayer. As we rebuild our hope, our neighbors, our home, just down the road from Barron is Cameron, and that's where Jamie's home church is, St. Peter Catholic Church. Next Sunday, they will be part of a faith celebration at 6.30 p.m. In Cameron, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News.